Hey, I'm Laura and welcome to 24 Hours in Prague. So it is a Sunday late morning, we had a bit of a lion after going out last night and we've just grabbed a coffee from a local shop around the corner called Nomad Coffee and right next to that there's a place called Zikov Highline. Zikov. <laughs> Zizkov Highline <laughs> apparently. Um, so we're just taking a stroll down there, just drank our coffee, it's got ourselves a little pastry, lots of people running on their Sunday morning jogs. So, yeah, I'll let you know if we see anything cool. Boy. Whoa, <laughs> yep, we'll see. Like pirate has got a patch on one eye right across his face. Huh? I don't know what it is, but obviously we'll have to do a Wikipedia recap for you. Fact check. <laughs> Guys, so I did just that. I went to the most reliable source, of course, Wikipedia, and this is the third largest bronze horse and rider statue in the entire world. We knew it was big, but my God, incredible. I don't think you can understand exactly how big that statue is. Like there's a person up there and look at the size of it. It's huge. <laughs> wasn't expecting to find that on our morning walk, eh? Superb! coffee fiend in her natural habitat. We're gonna get food and beer. Do you know what you're getting? Yeah. No, not yet. Some kind of large beer and maybe some chimney cake for dessert. any European city really is that you can buy alcohol and just drink it on the street. So eddie has got his beer, I've just had mine, just walking around Prague. How are you finding it? Good. 
<laughs> so we've stopped off for a beer in the castle grounds because we need to go to the toilet in Prague. Make sure you have cash on it or you'll get a very angry Czech lady telling you that you're not allowed to go into the toilet. So come here to buy a beer, go to the toilet and then we'll go to the store for the castle. up here they got these little spines on it. It's very special. Very what did special. you say that it looked like? <laughs> Just can't explain it, you know. You gotta come here yourself and, and view the, the world. <laughs> <laughs> around the world, around the world. <laughs> So there's a story about Prague clock that I remember being told a few years ago so I just had to look it up again um, but basically um, this clock in that's in the Prague clock tower it's an astronomical clock and it's the oldest working astronomical clock um, in the world. The guy that created it, the leaders of Prague at the time decided to order him to be blinded so that he couldn't repeat his work again. In revenge the guy decided to um, break the clock and it took them, I think it was almost 200 years for them to be able to fix it and now they've preserved it, it's working beautifully and it's the main part of Prague Square when you come here. Every hour on the hour there's a show that goes on and everyone gathers. Um, but yeah, an interesting little fact about Prague. I'm just having a chimney cake which is basically like a crispy cinnamon donut. It's round, like a chimney rat and it's got a tail on the inside, so it's pretty nice. Honey wine. I haven't actually tasted it yet. Very sweet. <laughs> Old wine. It's extremely sweet. Yeah, How's this wine. going down? It's pretty good actually. It's very sweet. So we decided after exploring we'd come back to the little market area and get something warm as it's a very cold day. So hot mold honey wine going down. <laughs> And then the bread to mop it up as well. Delicious, just what you need to end a beautiful trip in Czech. <laughs> 